in what we are going to study now, right? Numpy is something which is used with the arrays, okay, and is used in two dimension, three dimensions, and, and called as an n dimensional arrays, right? So this is basically used for numerical Python, right? Uh, um, you can say like with the calculations, a lot of scientific calculations and bit of like whatever the numerical things you need in the Python and in the data science sector I'm talking about, okay? In those areas, we can use those things, right? So it can be used over there. Sage, it's area, okay, added. Hmm. Okay, so those are the things, right? Uh, let's start up with things, how to import. So you have to import the, uh, sorry, we are running up. Okay. okay, so as is something can import as anything, right? You can write your name, you can write any alphabet A as or some, sorry. DEF, whatever you need, right? So for NumPy, we usually take by default NP. Okay, one well, not by default, it's like everyone uses it, right? So import NumPy from NP, sorry, as NP, right? And next you can see like which version we are using. So we can just write print NumPy version, comma, And they will see that NumPy version board we are using is 1.18.1. Now, what all are the modules in the NumPy? Let's have all those things. So we'll directly look onto this directory of NP. So we find a lot of things here. These are nothing but the functions of the NumPy, which are uh, which has to be used like to work in here, right? So a lot of functions are there, and you can see it here. Till, okay, so you can count even like. see so we find around 624 functions and within the 624 functions every one of the functions it's very important right every other function next every function whatever you study is an important one okay. if it exclude all those things you'll find the best things over there right uh, just a second Hello. All right. Okay. Now, why we say this as an n-dimensional array, right? Now, let's discuss first of things why we say it as an. Now, what is the major difference between the arrays and the list? There should be very uh, which difference between the arrays versus the list. Now, the very first one is in list. Okay, let me make it a mark down. Yeah. So, in list, we say list are list can hold heterogeneous elements of different data type basically. Right here, the arrays will be here. We say it has to be the data type always can be a homogeneous. Okay, that is the very first one. Now, in case of okay, this was the comparison with the type of. data type okay these are the comparison with the data types now okay let's see how it is looking let's have a run this uh, all right mm, that's fine now uh, let's copy this Now, if we compare with the speed, we'll say list are greater than 
array okay list, list speed sorry 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 list are lesser than the arrays okay now again if we go with the next thing again here i'll be using storage so again here list has greater storage than arrays all right you'll find it like things should be clear too so these three models have made everyone data types there in the list are heterogeneous and there in the things you have homogeneity right the speed lists are very really less uh, speeder than the arrays right and the storage you can say arrays have a very less storage as compared to the list with the same elements right let's see for the, the you will find all these things right uh, let's move forward so why we say it has to be n dimensional array what is the fact for this when we say that this numpy can have an n dimensional figures n dimensional things now what exactly is the dimension we talk about anyone can tell me what is the dimension anyone quickly what is the dimension डायमेंशन Ah, uh, okay. See, multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional. Yeah, those those can be the uh, the types you are saying, like multi-dimensionals. See, if 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 I say um, like uh, there is, there are two students, right? So obviously there we can say there are multi students, right? Basically two students. If you have uh, some of the qualities inside you, what do you say? Yeah, I am a multi-person, right? multi quality person right exactly if i say in mathematic terms you would be figuring it out like uh, um axis you know in mathematics we talk about axis uh, left axis right axis or you say it as like uh, the horizontal and vertical axis right sometimes the x axis y axis we say it as all right so those x and y what we say two dimension what we say it as the x axis and the y axis two dimension correct in mathematics you might have learned it in class 12 also you might uh, have learned in the geometry section so i'm in class 11 too and there when we take out in physics also you might have read this right and there if you take out something z we call it as three dimension figure clear to everyone having doubts yes no anything understood the meaning of dimension okay see if i take a piece of paper right and i can say how many dimensions a piece of paper is having yeah what is the dimension of a piece of paper Four, saying is four. Okay, so you are saying the corners and all, right? All right, fine. So how do you find that the dimension is four? How you find? I am not talking about the corners. How you find the dimensions is four? Length into breadth. Okay, you are calculating it with the length into breadth. Length into breadth will give you the dimension of four. See, if I take a paper like uh, just you see it as in the horizontal way or in a vertical way. See it like in one way. Okay. Now you have something as a breadth, as an a length. Okay. 
right? I'm not calculating all the sides. Just talking one length and one breadth. That's it, right? So in the paper you have two, two lengths, two breadths. So you're saying it has four, right? Okay. Now in NumPy, see what happens. In NumPy also you have n dimensional arrays that is called as numerous dimensional arrays. Now it can ha it can hold a lot of dimensions. It can have one, two, three, four. Obviously, if we say n dimensional arrays, that means ki, uh, you can say it as like there would be a lot of dimensions, right? A lot of dimensions would be there. Now n can hold a lot of values, right? Let's just see. Let me say a1 is an array. np dot an array. Sorry. A y. And then we say one, two, three, four, five. That's it, right? Now, what are the data types? First of all, what is the data type here? Integer, clear? Now here we'll be learning all the data types in the numpy test, right? Let's see. So um, let's go ahead. Now, first look on to the A1, how it looks. So A1 looks something like this, one, two, three, four, five. If we normally print A1, we look something like array of one, two, three, four, five. That's it, clear to everyone, right? Now, there are some functions, right? So what is the data type of A1? A1 dot D type. We have integer of 64 bits, right? How many elements are there in the array? A1 dot size, five, right? Five elements, okay. Next question. Now we'll say that, uh, what are the types? Yeah, dimensions. What is the dimension of this A1? If you are talking about the number of dimensions of this A1, what will say that the number of dimension is, right? So we'll say it as A1 dot NDIM. That means the number of dimensions in the A1. Clear to everyone having any doubts in, in this four, uh, four, yeah, three operations, any doubts? NDIM size and this, what is that? D type. I think no doubts would be there. Any doubts? Easy? Cool. Right. Now see, uh, similar to this, if we import the sys module, we'll find things. Uh, there is something like if we say, what is the size of an integer? If anyone could tell me. What is the size of an integer here? Let's say if I write uh, 10. So what is the size of 10? That's 28 bytes any integer talk about 100 28 bytes 10,000 1 lakh 10 lakh 28 bytes right so integers having 28 bytes here now if we talk about a float 24 24 right it can be any number 24 clear we talk about complex 32 clear to everyone right so numbers have got some size there in the python right? any language okay now if we say says dot get size of this number plus 5 is giving you 32 bytes right? similar to the list is list would be having any size right so if i define a list l1 and i say okay let's say it has a uh, list one and I say those numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I say now print the sys dot get size of this list one. First we'll print the list one and also we'll print the size. So we see the size is 112 bytes. Okay. Now the same thing if I write in an array, uh, I have written it actually, right? So I one two three four five is there in the A1. Now if I find the same thing in the numpy, we'll find it as like, so one element size or the numerous element size, you talk about anything is same, right? 32. So similar to this, I will write the size of one element. Okay, here in the numpy, we use the item size, that is individual item size, okay? 
Now uh, let's think about like a1 if I look onto the data type I have find that this is an integer 64 bit right 64 bit of integers right now 64 bit if it, it is the total size of the array now what would be the individual size of the elements right so individual data size would be a1 dot the item size and this is a now how is this is calculated the total data type size that is data type is integer of 64 bytes now 64 bytes divided divided by 8 always will be giving you the actual item size value that is 8 now now let it be 16 integer of 16 bits right it can again be calculated using divided by 8 and that time you will be getting it with the 2 it can be 4 it can be 16 it can be 32 right anything right so item size gives you the individual item size as you find here in the get size of an element right so similar here what i'll do is the same things i will be calculating here and i'll be taking a1 dot the data type sorry the item size of the element multiplying with the total size of the a1 and giving me the 40 bytes clear to everyone like if one item is holding a size of 8 bytes the 5 will be holding a 40 bytes clear and so does in the list it is holding of 112 bytes clear to everyone yes no quick sir can you explain it again yeah sure see it's a very uh, simple process if we go if i say see cost of one pen let's say is five if i have a bunch of 10 pens what will be the cost five multiplied by 10 right yes sir okay now so think here that this 10 is the size of the array okay and this 5 is the individual size of the elements of the array okay yes sir yeah so complete size comes 50 yes sir how do you say the total um, actual space taken by the array is 50 right similar to this the item size multiplied by the total size gives the result 40 and here also the integer size one integer size multiplied uh, sorry not multiplying just taking the get size of the complete list right and it gives you 112 bytes so this takes a lot of space as compared to the arrays okay because the yes. bytes here the numbers are very small that's why it is used for the multiplications and not only multiplications all the calculation things right okay so yes, I'll yes. now it is clear right thank you okay so we have looked on to the item size we have looked on the size the data type names and the get size of and the things okay moving on so a lot of functions are there here to learn right not all the functions we are going to learn you can go through for whatever you want like uh, let's pick any of the thing uh, let's say you are looking to multiply okay now if i if i have a2 and i write it as to be 3 4 5 6 7 and i'll look on to my a2 that's it so it's something look like this oh. Gain another okay. Hmm. So if I say a one dot multiply the say two. Find the results. Oh numpy have no attribute of okay. Just a minute. Multiply this a1 cross a2 and that's the result so you are having 3 8 50 24 35 okay now how this results have came 3 4 5 6 7 uh let's uh, write a1 and a2 so you see 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 6 7 clear how you are getting the results 3 multiplied 1 3 4 multiplied 2 8 5 3 15 6 4 24 and 7 5 35 clear so what is the usage of multiply how it works 
let's say if one function you are trying to learn i have given you all the function names over there right now if you want to learn any functions what do you also do it here np dot info and uh, then you can write the function name like np dot multiply like this oops not in the string like this and you will get the documentation of those things right everything what are the parameters it, it is being used right and what is the statement like multiplies argument element wise okay and then what it returns how it returns for examples there are the things okay and some modules some functions more would be given there right like what is reshape now if you want to learn what is reshape you'll just do np dot info and then np dot reshape you run this again you get the documentation of reshape clear so whatever the functions every new function will be giving you a new function again right see in the reshape you have got something called as dot t dot view dot shape again three functions more okay so you can learn it three from here or even right ravel what it does we'll be going through all don't worry okay now let's see now there comes a module or a function you can say it as like shape now what is shape now till here if we look on to the uh, dimensions of this a2 also we'll find it has to be one okay now if we say here that just a moment hmm so here if we say that how to make a 2d right again if i look onto my a2 what do you find the things there is one tuple bracket and one disk bracket right so what i say is that focus on the number of starting list brackets only having one so one dimension starting one ending one one dimension let's say if i make an array a3 and I say it has to be okay. Now I say it as okay, three. Hmm? Now A3 is having an uh, NP dot array which is having. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and focus on the starting and the last number of list brackets. We are having 2. Here we are having 2. Don't go for these all right inside ones. So here we have 2. And here we also have 2. Okay. Now what we'll do is just print the A3. So this is your result okay now let's look on to the number of dimensions it is having a3 dot they find it to be 2 clear to everyone how you can look onto the dimensions now let's say a4 So number of starting brackets is 1, 2, 3. Ending brackets, 3. 3 dimensions. Right? Now, how can we say that this is n dimension? Right? So 3 dimension, 2 dimensions have been done there. Right? Now, uh, what is a 10 dimension? What are the 20 dimensions? How we can look onto those dimensions? Right? Okay. Let's see. Actually, you don't go for all this number of dimensions. Right? 20, 25, 30 is maximum some whatever you go right those are the maximum points you want to go there okay all right uh, let's focus hmm. now let's see so endim is used for finding the number of dimensions now if you are making an array and you want to specify the number of dimensions by your own not writing by this right so i can make it clearly like this see i can make it easily the a5 if i'm writing it as if I'm making an array like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
okay and if i want it to be a three dimension i can specify using nd min that's it now if i look onto the a5 it will be a three dimension see clear right but the elements you are writing is something different right you are making a brackets in within a brackets and that's a different thing but the dimension would be same see clear so nd min means the minimum number of dimensions okay all right now uh, let's come to our a3 i think it's a good yeah now if we look onto the shape what is a shape so if i say the shape of an array so it says two cross five two cross five means two rows see one and two two rows five columns one two three four five or you can go with two rows and five elements in each of the rows that can be also done right so two rows five columns two rows five elements whatever you think right you can go with your own things like you will be making up a lot of things with this right okay now if we talk about uh, the size and the shapes has been clear right now uh, let's say that if we are having this a3 if we want to swap the cases or uh, you basically call it like swap the axis axis right you understand right axis means the um, the uh, left axis again sorry the x axis and y axis or you say the verticals and the horizontal things or you say the row and the columns here the axis means the rows and the columns right so if i want to swap the rows and the columns what i am going to do is something called as reshape again reshaping so i'll say a3 dot reshape now reshape can also be done in only the cases of the factors like if you are having an element which is having two cross five or you say two rows and five columns if I want to reshape, I cannot reshape it in something called 1 cross 5, 2 uh, or 2 again and 2 cross 5, 3 cross 5, right? It can only be done if you have read the matrix in class 11, 12 very properly. You might be seeing that there should be the rows and columns in the same order, right? So what we can do is 5 cross 2 could be best, right? And I can run this, I can find the things that there are now five rows and two columns or you see uh, the five rows and two elements in each of the rows everyone clear with this reshapes and shapes if you are having any doubts you can ask it because this you will be getting in your ibm exam Nanti. and for the machine learning students you will be having it in the ml part so it's important for you to to understand this hmm. all right thank you okay now uh, we go ahead with a uh, different function right so reshape i think is clear right? now let's talk about the excess what are these excess what is the excess right? so let's go with the uh, modules we have been talking about okay so we have a lot of things like if we started from here we have all we have max a mean arrays max arrays means angles any append append along axis append along axis arrange across let's go through okay now in python we have read around the ranges what are ranges we have talked about right okay ranges is something like here if you say there is a list f is equals to this right if i say um no random is there so i'll say from we have imported though will not be taking it okay so we'll say um, for i in a random dot will take it just a random range, okay and then we'll specify the numbers like one to six and let's say from nine seven six five four with six and six numbers on the left hand side and the right hand side okay now if we take about using the append options we'll say append using the values of i or uh, let's take we're copying this uh just a second hmm. so range of only 50 numbers and we'll tell this as yeah 
g is equals to the same thing and f dot append b g right so let's run this so random is not defined so we can use np dot random numpy has no attribute of rand range so we can use rand int this work rand int yeah done so we find f as some bit of numbers right some code some oh, you can see some numbers over there so yeah so say here are a lot of numbers we can see here right so we can make even the matrix like if we look onto this uh, size f length of this f so we can make in some kind of an array 50 is there right so if i want to now if i want to make it as an array so I can make an array of f and I can look on to this right having 50. I can reshape into some dimensions. It can be done like 25 cross 2, 5 cross 10, 10 cross 5 or 2 cross 25 or 5 cross 5. No, 5 cross 5 could not be done. So we can make it into an reshape of reshape of this 25 cross 2. See 25 rows and 2 columns or you can reshape as 2. 2 cross 25 could be better like having small rows and lot of columns. Or, okay. Hmm. Now, uh, see, the reshape has been clear to you, right? Any doubts still here? So here, like I have used range, similar to this, if we use np dot arrange would be very quick actually, right? So we'll have a glance of this. Okay, see, so np dot same code I'm running, uh, but here we'll be using arrange. See, and at last we'll say the f as oh not here. Say f as np dot an array of f. Okay. Now let's run this and uh, let's look on to this f. Anyone having any doubts? F is now clear. See, so look at the things. Here you have the f, which was looking something different. Here you also had the f. Can you find the linearity here in the arrays? Right. That's why I said that these are homogeneous and the arrays in the list you have the uh, heterogeneous form like in the list I can define numbers 1 2 3 4 5 dot 9 so there is the heterogeneous type right so 5.9 or the integers of the float have the same types like right? here if I say 1 2 3 4 and even if I 5 dot something if I write the complete will be taken in the um, float format right if I say an np dot an array see so if I make an array of this I'll find everything in the floats you find the things Clear to everyone having any doubts? Okay, uh, now let me ask you how much you have understood. Anyone can tell me what is reshape? Quick. Yeah, let's listen. It's from Parth. Parth, say what is reshape? Uh, sir, in reshape, you can change the size of the matrix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. So you can change the size of the matrix from there, right? Now if we say matrix, now what is the matrix we can say? Having a rows and the columns, right? So here you have the matrix options also, right? So you can go for np.info and you can find the matrix too, right? So you can find mi tricks here. So you, when go for the matrix, you can find this things, right? So what is a matrix exactly? And you can have the definitions there. So it's having data returns the matrix of the arrays, right? And what are the parameters has to be taken and how you can define a matrix if you are making a matrix over there and what are the rest functions you can take like all any argument maximums argument minimums arg uh, argument partitions sortings as type is something yeah as type is a nice nice one see a2 if you look on uh or the a3 having something yeah so these all are in the integers right so we have also discussed like something Apart from zero, everything you will find it is to be in the uh, Boolean types, right? So if I change the data type of this all, these all integers, if I look on the data type here till now, 
uh, the type is something here integer of 64 clear like if I want to change the type now right of the a3 so we'll write a3 dot as type and that is uh, just a moment as type of I let's say if I write it to be np dot of float of 32 bits okay so 64 mm, just a moment from here we'll have to remove it 64 and they find has to be there right if I say it was 32 we find a data type as 32 right so as type could be used to change the data type uh, as similar to the reshape you have seen it changes the shape there right so here you can change the data types now if we again use it to here here and we'll say it in the boolean type so we'll say bool that's it right and for the boolean it's it so everything is in true now if we uh, again change this boolean in the numeric formats what we say it as what all the numbers will be getting now integer or float anyone quick okay integer or float what will be getting sir float integer float integer 2 okay 1 1 we have a tie any different yeah there are i think 7 to 8 people's quick we have got two answers 1 1 for both of them integer or float mm, quick guys Let's ask from uh, Shashank. Shashank, what do you say? Integer or float? Chetan, Manish. Quick, guys, quick. Integer, sir. Integer. Integer, okay. Okay, we have majority for integer. Let's go with this. So, uh, let's change this as type. So, now, guys, uh, you tell me that you are saying answers as integer or float. But you haven't think till now that in what type you are going to change. If I change an integer, obviously I'll be getting in the results in integer. So there is no specific answers for this, right? If I change in float, I didn't mention in what category I'm going to change. I just have in what category I'll be getting the results, right? So think in very sharp way, right? Okay, fine. So as type is clear to everyone now, I think no doubts would be there. Yes, sir. Mm, cool. Now, see, maximum and minimum are very easy things to learn, right? So, I'm not going with that. Max and mean, you can find the maximum along the axis and the minimums, right? So, uh, let's go with the combination things on the ravels and all, okay? In concatenation, we have learned, right? STR with something like star equals to um, STR again, TSR, whatever. Okay, let's assign something v is equals to this and next v plus equals to this. So what we contains this str tsr that is the string concatenation. Same here if we have a3 uh, we'll do a4 dot a4 is equals to a3 dot copy. Okay, making a copy of an array. So a4 also looks something like this. Uh, just a moment. Yeah, so a4 also looks like this. Okay. Now if we say a3 plus a4, very easy. All the things along the axis element wise has been added. Or we say np dot add. Sorry. Like this, okay. Now we have a3 and a4. So you again see the things have been done, right? So you can go with the multiplication factors and all, right? And the next we can use a3 minus a4. Hmm? a3 multiplied by a4 a3 uh, or we can find np dot sqrt square root square root of a3 right or a4 all right or you can do the divisions too like a3 divide by a4 hmm? right and you can again then uh, by getting the results you can change the things if you, if you are getting it as this you can do the as type to get the change of the results and you can find it to be the, the boolean results or the true right so things can be used right okay fine now the a3 and a4 if you want to combine we'll be doing it as using the concatenator and there it uh, see concatenate takes only one argument okay so here we was just writing it as uh, somewhere here without any like in the parameter in the parenthesis we were just writing a3 and a4 
here you have to define one more parenthesis and then you can define the a1 a4 okay and concatenate spelling error is there run this yeah so now you see one two three four uh, one two three four five six seven yeah clear okay so here you find the both of the array in some mergings now you say some joinings has been done right if we combine this the a3 and a4 it will look something like this now this by default get always in the column or you say verticals okay so what is the access here if i say np dot concatenate the same thing let me copy this okay and if i say here x is equals to one now so in one what do you find the things in the row in zero what do you find the things in the column clear so here you find the same things as by default what you have get here see so you can say this one as the row uh, sorry the columns and this one as a column so by default every time you will get the results in the columns clear to everyone <laughs> right so for uh, having or you can say for removing this access and all there are the functions called as v stack and h stack h stack for horizontal stackings or you can say horizontal mergings and v stack for vertical stackings okay so we can go with that to write np dot h stack so horizontal stacking and horizontal stacking the a3 and a4 so same things here row for the verticals again v stack and the a3 and a4 clear to everyone till now no doubts yes sir hmm. good all right now so the n dimensional or any dimensional arrays when we look about like a2 okay a2 is this a3 okay now this is a two dimension right if i want to convert this in a uh, one dimension what i will have to do is any of the type if you are having any array if you want to combine sorry not combine it converts right so if you want to convert any of the array in one dimensional what we'll do is a3 dot reshape to minus one negative of anything will be converting things in one dimension or there is the other function a3 dot ravel that's it. In Ravel, you don't have to write anything, right? So you can just pass the Ravel function, it would be converting things in the one dimensional. Okay. All right. Now, so uh, let's come to the trigonometric sections. Now, if you talk about like if I have numbers, mm, let's say if we, A3 is there, right? So if you want to find the sign of all the values, what I'll do is np dot sign of A3. I get the results here. Okay, right. Uh, there is something called as SIMP. Uh, the machine learning students will be learning this. Okay, but I still give you a hint how you find those things there. Mm. See, uh, there uh, you can find like sine of A3, right? So I can find it there like sine of. I cannot write a3 i can write anything like sine of 3 if you're sign so sine 3 or if you say sine 30 so i can say sine 30 symbolic representations or if you say sine theta square so i can write it even right sine theta square sorry it should be square that's so sine squared theta right plus cos squared theta or minus anything minus one whatever the things right so trigonometric sections all right so coming here will be giving you a numerical value that's why we see it as numerical python simply something for the symbolic representations don't go with that okay now you have to deal with these things right so np dot sign is clear giving you the results of the sign of every other numbers okay now so you can make it a round of event np dot round round of the numbers to the two i say it has to be one 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Uh, basically, total round off will be giving you these results, right? And then to S type, and you can find it. Okay, 
integer of let's say 15 bits. See? Clear? So now you can find all the results like sine of 1 is 1, sine of 2 is 1, sine of 3 is 0, sine of 4 is minus 1, sine of 5 is minus 1, sine of 6 is 0, like this. Okay? Right? So things, okay, don't confuse with the things, right? Because original values are something different. I have changed this in the round of form, right? That was from 0, 0, 0, 0 something. I have rounded it off. And then again, I have changed all the things in the integer. So obviously things will be changed, right? Okay, moving next. Hmm. So concatenations and the things are uh, clear right now. Okay, now with the reshape, there is something called as transpose. With the A3, now if I say A3 dot transpose. So see, automatically the things will be transposed. On the basis like here, you can have 2 cross 5, right? If I say a random, random numbers, so here we can make random dot random, sorry, np dot random. It would be an np dot random dot randn, random of, let's say we take some 50 numbers. So some 50 numbers would be coming here. Okay. Now, so here we want to divide this or reshape this in some form. We'll be just using the reshape factor, r-e-s-h-a-p-e, and we'll be taking it like 2 cross 25 or um, 50 is there, so 10 cross 5, right? So 10 cross 5 is there, obviously in the same factor it was being given, right? Now what we can do is, yeah, so now we can transpose this using transpose. So see, things has been changed. Now you can find there the five rows, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you see clearly the things, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Sorry, yeah, one, two, three, four, and this is five, yeah, clear. One, two, three, four, uh, still here, and the next one is still five, here, right? I think till here it is clear to everyone, okay? From random, random numbers, basically you are getting it. So you can make a lot of things from here too. Okay. So till now, uh, till here you go and practice up, right? Whatever you have been looking on till here, right? And uh, there was something was it was flat, flatten and flat. Okay. Uh, let's go with the num, not the numbers and the null numbers also, right? So in here we something called as np dot nan, null numbers. And here we call it just as none, none values. Mm, not defined. Okay, leave it. And simply we have not defined it. So none is something which is not a number. So if you say np dot none plus three, you'll get values none, right? Because if what is none basically? Not a number. So not a number means nothing, not even zero, not negative, nothing is there, right? So can you add something with nothing? No. Right. If you have five chocolates, let's say, very, very basic examples. You have five chocolates, right? And you don't have anyone to give. But still I say that you give someone and now how many chocolates you have left with you? So you'll say nothing, right? Because you are not giving to anyone, right? So how many you gave will be zero. So if I do np dot nan plus three is equals to nan, np dot nan multiplied by three equals to nan nothing multiplied by anything nothing with anything will be giving you nothing right so that is nothing basically so if i have an array and i say it as one two np dot nan so here are three now we look on to the number of uh, null arrays uh, basically the null elements those will be looking out later on much right so to, tomorrow we'll be looking at those things. Okay. So till here, I hope things are clear to everyone. Hmm? Any doubts in today's class? No, sir. Cool. So you need to practice a lot for the NumPy because you'll be having IBM examinations with this, right? So you need to practice it much. This is for PYDS and for the ML2. ML. Rename. Hmm. Sir, we'll get today's recording by 8, right? Yeah, sure, by 8.
uh, even faster you can okay. get like within one and hour also you can get okay sir okay all right guys then bye bye